You pay for that Prime membership, you get free two-day shipping, but lately that two-day guarantee is turning into three or four for some customers. And Amazon says this isn't a big issue, but our viewers say otherwise. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live tonight. And Hank, these Prime memberships are really expensive. Karen, I mean, I just signed up and for my Prime membership. You're talking about $140 a year. And with that, you expect that two-day delivery. I'll tell you what, though. When we did this story last week, I was overwhelmed by the response from our viewers. Now, Amazon is telling us one story, but you are telling us a very different story. Amazon shipping delay. Some Prime members who say they were promised the two-day delivery, well, it's no longer happening. And they want to know why. Help me, Hank, first exposing this problem last week, and you have certainly sounded off. I've heard from so many viewers. I've experienced delays in delivery from Amazon lately. This is crazy. Your piece on Amazon the other night struck a note with me. I've been having many issues with Amazon delays, deliveries. I get emails saying it'll be delivered next day. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, I had purchased several items through Amazon. I think it's more of FedEx and UPS who are the ones holding back deliveries. A spokesperson for Amazon here in Metro Detroit telling me today, two-day Prime shipping is available throughout the U.S. We haven't identified any issues with Prime delivery speeds, though Prime delivery promises may fluctuate based on transportation capacity in a given region or a customer's location. What we do know is that Amazon shipping delays are growing. People getting emails that appear to be from Amazon explaining the situation regarding the delay but you need to know that it's a scam. If there seems something fishy about the email, the text message, even if it's coming from someone you know, do not click on it. If it's coming from someone you don't know, absolutely do not click on it and delete it right away. Back out here live in Ferndale. Now, here's how we know that this is likely a problem that is affecting thousands of people. As you heard there from the BBB, this has now become a scam issue where scammers are reaching out to people who've been experiencing delays and they have one goal in that situation. It's not to help you track that package. It's to get your personal information. So make sure you take a close look at that email sender to make sure that it is actually an email that you're receiving from Amazon. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. So frustrating, Hank. So what have you, with your research, what parts of the country are they seeing the biggest slowdowns? And Karen White, we have experienced slowdowns here in Metro Detroit. Amazon itself has mentioned that there have been some delays across uh, the eastern section of the U.S. and also Washington State. But again, they say those are very isolated. And right now, the company is saying they don't believe that this is a widespread problem. Although I'm sure I'm going to hear from many people again oh. tonight telling me it is, in fact, still happening. Back bet, to you. I bet you will. We appreciate it. Thank you.